Welcome back to the Messianic Hour. I'm your host, Rabbi Scott. The show is dedicated to reaching the lost and educating the found. I want to encourage you to go to our website, rabbiscott.com, sign up for our newsletter. And while you're there, check out all the interesting things we have going on. You can see when the upcoming feasts are and when you can tune in to view our live streaming at Congregation Beth Adonai. If you're in the Atlanta area, we would love to have you join us. Uh, tell your Jewish friends they can come join us as well. Let them know no tickets are required. They'll understand that uh, as they can come and celebrate the high holidays with us as we celebrate our Messiah in them as well. We have a very special guest, a, a dear friend of mine, Rabbi Eric Tokager, and he is the executive director now of the Messianic Times. Eric, it's great to have you on the show. It's great to be on the show. It's always good to talk to you, Scott. So, Eric, you started a web ministry. Tell us a little about uh, that, your new site that you have online and kind of what's been going on with the two organizations. Sure. About seven years ago, I started a daily online news site called Messianic Daily News. Uh, it was a fully online news site that was updated five days a week with news and information about the Messianic movement worldwide. At the same time, the Messianic Times had been producing for many years a very quality edition, paper edition of a newspaper. They also had a website, but their website only updated when they updated, when they produced and, and released a new edition of the paper. So about a year ago, uh, Paul Lieberman, who was the, was the executive director and is still the publisher of the Messianic Times, came and talked to me about working together to better serve the community by combining the best of both of our productions. And... And so, so we joined our site. So now the Messianic Daily News is part of MessianicTimes.com. It's the non-subscription portion of the news site, and then the Messianic Times is the subscription portion. And so people are able to go to uh, the site, and they'll get updates daily. I know uh, you just recently did an article on our congregation. Beth Adonai has just celebrated its 10th anniversary, and uh, other ministries can let you know what's going on there. I know you also have where... Uh, you can see the different Messianic musicians. So, and that's under the free section. Then they can also sign up and receive the Messianic Times in paper and on e-format as well. Is that correct? Exactly. It's uh, to get it on e-format. It's nine ninety nine a year to subscribe to the Messianic Times, and that gives you the full Messianic Times newspaper as well as all the extras that are online that aren't on the newspaper, and then, of course, the Messianic Daily News you can go to every day and see the updates of what's going on around the world. And what is the website? We'll, of course, have it on our link at rabbiscott.com, but what is the um, address where they can go do that? It's messianictimes.com or messianicdailynews.com. Both will get you there, but messianictimes.com is the primary web address. And, Eric, I, I know you've been, you know, you, you and I have gone back a number of years, <laughs> more than we probably both want to remember. Um, the vision that you had when you first started this, were you ever expecting it to come to uh, how it is today? No, it, it's much larger than we expected it to be. We were really using it as a way to reach Jewish people that didn't yet believe in Yeshua, and share with them the breadth of what the Messianic movie, movement is. You know, too many Jewish people that don't yet believe in Yeshua feel like I did before I became a believer, where people were trying to share with me, and, they, and I would think to myself, well, if they're right, why aren't any other Jewish people accepting Yeshua? Because I was one person 30-something years ago, and I didn't know of the Messianic movement or anything that was going on with that. Right. So I produced this news site so that they would see that there are hundreds of thousands of Messianic Jewish believers around the world. So they're not the only one that's considering this, but there are hundreds and thousands of Messianic Jews around the world doing all kinds of things, education facilities, colleges, writing books, producing music, doing millions and millions of dollars of benevolence and humanitarian aid work around the world. And, you know, we've been with you since the very beginning. Uh, you know, we've had our link for the, the radio show on there, and uh, we've always promoted your, the, your paper, your, your website on our page as well because it's so important for us to understand and to see what's going on, not just in a monthly time, but literally daily as our society has become to that and with so many things happening. It, it's really amazing to see 
uh, the response. Have you had any opposition to the work you're doing? Um, we really haven't. Uh, we've had an amazing amount of people from all over the world that come to our website. You know, we have analytics, and we have people from Indonesia, from Syria, from Egypt, from Lebanon, a number of people from Israel daily, people from Europe, from uh, China. You know, everywhere in the world, people are coming and looking at this site on a regular basis. It's just amazing to me. Uh, how open people are, because it's a very non-confrontational way to present the gospel and the good news by showing people presenting it rather than just uh, straightforward evangelism. Now, I know we have a lot of uh, different Messianic leaders that listen to our show. If they want to get you information about what's going on, um, what's happening, matter of fact, uh, many of, I, I know on the Messianic Times you're offering a, uh, a page where people can go to see where there's a Messianic congregation in their area. Tell us a little, about, a little bit about that. Okay, any synagogue, Messianic synagogue, that wants to list their High Holy Day services, right on our front page, on the very top of our web page, is a place where people can go and find out where there's a Messianic congregation or synagogue near them and how they can contact them. And we're doing that for a very minimal amount of payment uh, to the congregation. And you can find out about that by emailing Messianic Daily News at gmail.com and also if you have events going on concerts anniversaries such as what you just had if you want to let people know about it we want to let people know about it so email us that information or uh, for those that send out regular emails to the congregation you can just add our email address to your mass email uh, messianic daily news at gmail.com and then it will automatically let us know of those events and concerts and things you know, you just reminded me, we need to send you the event that we're having. I think it's on uh, Saturday the 21st, where we're having the ancient scrolls being brought to us. Uh, it's all the uh, books of the Torah, the ha Haft Torah, in scroll form, and people will, will be able to watch live stream if they're not here in Atlanta. Uh, and we want to encourage that, so we'll get that out to you right this afternoon. Uh, we're, of course, also listed on your... Uh, site for the upcoming holidays and we live stream ours as well so wherever you are around the world you can watch we uh, start our services eastern standard time we do start a messianic jewish time which means they can go start a little late but we try our best to get stuff on there right as it's beginning and with us you can also go to our chat room and have conversations uh or and ask questions during the classes and things like that so i want to encourage you to check that out we got about just over two minutes left Eric, what are some of the things coming up with the newspapers and the website that you're really excited about right now? Well, there are, we're about to start, as long as we get enough support, and, and we're a support-driven uh, news site, so people subscribing helps to do this, and then people making donations. But we're about to have an app so that people are able to go directly to their cell phone, their iPad. We're looking to get it on Kindle very soon. So we're, we're very excited about the digital part of our paper as well as right. the print version. We, we have print version that goes out to thousands and thousands of people, but we're also reaching people all over the world with digital formats, and it's so much uh, quicker in times to just hit that button and open an app and see what's going on. So that's, that's where we're heading next. In addition to continuing our excellent work on the print edition, we're advancing our digital side. Yeah, we were actually the first Messianic congregation and the first Messianic ministry to have their own app. So that we, we have the uh, uh, the distinction of being the first one in both of those. Uh, but it is a great resource. I want to encourage you to do that. Uh, again, give us out your website. we got just about a minute left. So give us your website and how they can get in touch with you again. It's MessianicTimes.com. And right on the site, you can subscribe to the... That's any times online for nine ninety nine. All you have to do is go hit the link, and then to send us information, it's Messianic Daily News at gmail .com. And we'll have the links on our website as well, so you can check that out. I really want to encourage you. We've been a big supporter of both these ministries uh, for a very long time, and they're great resources. You'll be truly blessed by them. So check that out. Uh, I know you'll be blessed by the daily news that comes out and all the things going on with all the different Messianic congregations. Check that website, too, to find out a congregation near you that is going to be ho holding the high holidays. Remember, all are welcome, and that means you as well. 
Until next week, this is Rabbi Scott and Judy saying shalom and pray for the peace of Jerusalem.